Hello. It, it's been a while. We've been at the theater all week. Yeah, so it's been longer than a week. A while. It's been a while. <laughs> we have a little bit of a, a stock of things to unwrap, starting with... Socks. Stock of socks. Stock of socks? Yes. Yeah, so Friday Socko socks. Friday Socko. So the purposely mismatched socks. Yeah. Because life is too short to wear matching socks. Yeah. This is not a paid advertisement. Unfortunately. I'm wearing unmatching socks. She is. Uh, we Friday. have we have beer and wheat. Or Oh well, thanks, Coco. She just knocked the stand. <sighs> you silly little girl. Coco, come here. Come show your beautiful face up here. Or your beautiful belly, it doesn't matter. I brushed her yesterday for about two hours, so. Mm -hmm. Well, no one else could see your belly. She no. Just... Kirsten was here. She was here. Yeah, Kirsten was here when Coco was being brushed, so that's Kirsten's shout out. And because we don't <laughs> like to leave people out, Lisa, this is your shout out. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Yes, we do appreciate it. Um, this is yours. This is mine. So, oh, you want to tell them a little bit about Friday Sock Co., about our experience with them so far? We both have quite a few pairs. Yeah, I, I bought the bundles, the, the mystery bundles for each of us. Um, he has very large feet. They're very wide. very wide. So, they fit on your feet slightly better. They fit pretty well. Uh, my, my feet are quite small, mm -hmm. so they're... It's always Dog hair. hair. I did sweep, but... Um, this pair is not so bad, but I wore a different pair yesterday, and like the toes kept coming down here just because my feet are so small. They're not mm -hmm. quite a size five, and these are like five to ten or something. And that's another thing. I do find that some of the pairs fit differently. Yeah, which is interesting because they're all manufactured in the same place mm -hmm. in Italy, I believe, using combed cotton. But From maybe Egypt. the mix of fibers is slightly different. Like there might be a different percentage of. I don't know. Let's see. We'll see uh, what the so percentages are in here. Today, from Friday. Is it Sucko. poutine? Maple leaves and poutine? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> so they're very Canadian, clearly. <laughs> they have maple leaves. They have poutine, as the uh, Put it closer to it so people can see better. Poutine. Poutine. Is that how your grandfather says it? That's how French people say it. <laughs> and uh, the difference seems to be that one sock is all poutine. Poutine. And one maple leaf, and then the other pair are all maple leaves with one poutine. You might confuse the Americans. Just call it poutine. 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 That's how we say it in English. Yes, it usually. is. Usually. Poutine. Poutine. But the French, they go poutine. That's quite accurate. Anyway, <laughs> um, did you say they were made in Italy? Yes. I cannot see... <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, ethically made in Italy, designed uh, in Canada, with Egyptian combed cotton. Not just Egyptian combed cotton. It's twelve. This, these ones are twelve percent nylon and three percent elastane. So I wonder if the different ratios are what cause the different fit. Fit. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. So. Yeah, but nice. I'm excited to wear these. Cool. Friday socko. Not very su summery. No, no, they're not. No. That's okay. But they're fun. That, that should have been a, like a July one, in time for Canada Day. Or so a June one. And we're almost yeah, at you're June. Right. Good timing, guys. <laughs> but we've had these over a week. That's what I'm saying. Great timing, guys. Okay. Anyway, thanks for joining. Yep. Bye.